Is Dal Rook's puzzle box actually worth spending some gems on? In this video, I'm going to give you a few common sense strategies for how to approach this event, and I'm going to spend probably the maximum number of gems trying it out and seeing how it goes. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and you may remember the look of this event from when I teased it a couple days ago on my channel. Subscribers knew that this event was on its way, but now we get to see how it works and figure out if it's even worth it. And this event is apparently a sort of replacement for the Esmeralda event, her divinations, which the big gripe I had about that event is that there was all this stuff in there that you don't actually want. And so the overall value ends up being really bad because most end game players anyways don't want the building speeds they don't want the research speeds and they don't want the epic patterns so you're sort of have this gem event where whales are supposed to go spend a bunch of money that like a bunch of the stuff on there you don't even need right unless you're maybe newer to the game so my hope for doll rook's puzzle box will be that they don't have things like the research speed ups the building speed ups and also the epic patterns that they do still have in this event unfortunately so we're going to have to get a sense of the overall value. Now, just looking at this event, you can see that there's a prize pool here. This is the same prize pool on every floor. And you basically are going to open up boxes until you get the rare prize, which is the legendary material. When you get the legendary material, it's actually going to give you all the other boxes on the screen. So if I just flip this over real quick and show you what this looks like, it's going to make it look like it's randomizing the prizes across these 16 squares. And you're just trying to find where the legendary material is hidden. Claiming the legendary material gives you all the other prizes. But this visual representation is not actually accurate, as far as I can tell, for how the event actually works. And if we look at the description of the event, and this is maybe a little mathy and a little nuanced, but it's important. The rare prize has an increased chance of dropping from all the other squares. Now, wait a minute. You can't have 16 equally choosable squares and have one prize have a higher chance of dropping. That means that the visual representation of this event is not how the prizes are actually distributed. In fact, I think, based on the description of the event itself, the prize is selected when you tap it, not before you go and tap any of these squares. You see what I mean? It's randomly generated. When you tap a square, it doesn't matter which square you actually tap at all, as it turns out. Like, zero, it does not matter at all. Because, <laughs> again, you can't have 16 prizes with non-equal percent chances of dropping. In fact, the only way that can work is if the prize location is not predetermined. Again, when you tap, a prize is randomly generated. So this visual representation is maybe not the best, I would say the better visual representation is actually Esmeralda's Prayer, which is a wheel with pies of, of sort of different sizes that change every time you take a spin. And when I wanted to actually determine what the value of this thing actually was, I realized that I couldn't get you yet as a sort of average gem value because I don't know how the probabilities change after you crack open some number of these squares. So all that to say, if we want to understand what the average gem value is for this thing, we're just going to have to try it out a bunch and tell you what our average return on our gems was. And then you can decide for yourself if it's, some, if it's something you sort of want to do. And again, that is because the prizes are not already hidden behind these squares. Every time you tap a square, it is randomly generating what the prize would be. And again, I'm only Inferring that based off of the way the rules are written, where the probabilities are unequal, which means they can't already be placed behind these different squares. So you get five free tries in this event every single time. Um, so I think you might get five more free tries tomorrow, I hope. I assume there will be a reset of your free tries and also the number of the attempts you can buy. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but if I just tap through some of these squares to show you, I got some healing speeds. Okay, cool. I got some research speeds. And you can see there's an additional prize pool over here. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. That when you get to 100%, you get one draw from the additional prize pool. And then it resets back down to zero. And you can get crits on your way to that additional prize pool. So we go over here. There's my crit 2x on the, the additional prize pool chance. Okay. And boom. Now, I have one more free try here. We're going to give it a shot. 
Boom. Okay. Didn't get anything <clears throat> too exciting. I mean, I want that legendary material. And when I get the legendary material, the rest of the board is going to clear, and I get all those rewards, which is pretty cool. However, to get more attempts, there is not a free-to-play way to go and do this. Um, I mean, I guess you could get gems free-to-play, right? But you have to spend gems, is what I'm trying to say. And you have to get these mechanisms. Each mechanism will run you 400 gems. Okay, so let's talk about the gem value of this event, sort of, in an abstract way. Because the total prize pool that is available to you when you play this event, if you valued everything here at VIP shop prices, which I don't think is necessarily the best way to do it, then the value of the whole prize pool is 7,482 gems. The realistic value, subtracting things like the epic blueprints, the research speeds, the building speeds, and the resources, is more like 4,580 gems. And if you had to make your way through every single square, every single time, to open up this prize pool, that's 6,400 total gems to make your way through to the complete prize pool, okay? But theoretically, you should get the whole prize pool done for much cheaper than that once you land on this rare spot right over here, the legendary material, you get the rest of the board. So it should cost you much less than the 6,400 gems on average. And for what it's worth, the average value of the items in this rare prize pool, and there's a little bit of wizardry that has to go into coming up with this number, but I would put that at about 2,850 gems, including the resources, Take out the resources, and the average value of a pull from this special pool is about 2,500 gems worth of value. I mean, it's nice to get on top of what you're already doing, but given that you're going to have to do a whole heck of a lot of, uh, you know, cracks here, a bunch of rounds, in order to actually get the, the private collection to open for, for one pick, I think that the gem amount here, is, I mean, the value is pretty minimal in the grand scheme of things. So in order to continue here, we're gonna have to pick up a bunch of these mechanisms. Let's spend the gems I have, and then I'm gonna have to go get more gems in order to give this event a shot. Oh, yeah, I ran out of gems really fast. Okay, well, let's get started. I think my advice, by the way, if you are a free-to-play player, if you are gonna spend any gems on this at all, and I don't know that you should, would be to only complete the first level because you already got five free tries. So to finish the round with five free tries and to hopefully land on the legendary spot feels more reasonable to me in the grand scheme of things. But let's just crack open a few more of these and see how we do. We've done five so far. There's six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Ten. On the tenth try, we got the rest of the board. Cool. And each of those gave me credit, by the way, toward this over here, the center thing. So it is nice that when you get the rare prize, you still get credit toward the special prize pool for each other spot as if you had actually tapped on them. Okay. So for 10 attempts here, if I had done this fresh, that's 4,000 gems. And again, the value of this prize pool, I put at 4,580 gems, which is an okay return on my gems, but actually not that amazing, considering that it took me 10 tries. Now, given that five of them were free, now it's actually pretty solid value, right? At that point, we're talking about 2,000 gems spent for the sort of realistic gem value of this pool, to me, being 4,500 gems. That is a really good return on my uh, investment here, which is why if you are a low spender or free to play, then consider just kind of knocking out the sort of first round with that you already got the five free spins on because, I mean, at that point, the incremental number of attempts to hopefully get the prize is relatively low. And I would say don't attempt it if you do not have enough gems to actually get to the top of this prize pool in a worst case scenario. In other words, do not attempt a floor if you do not have enough gems to actually buy the maximum number of attempts you could possibly need because you could get wrecked. So... You know, you at least want to prevent against that worst case scenario where you guarantee you can get to the top if you need to. And keep in mind, we're about to get a 7,000 or 7K gem event coming up. So you're going to need 7,000 gems hoarded up in order to get the extra value from that holiday event coming very soon. I have 16. Let's get the maximum amount of these. Woo, 79,200 gems. F's in the chat for my gems. Here's hoping this works out, because otherwise I just spent a lot of gems for not a lot of gain. But I think it should work out, right? All right, it took 10 attempts the first time. How about now? We got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, oh boy, eight, nine, nine, nope, 10, oh boy, 11, okay, 11. 11 attempts, we'll note it down, working our way toward the special level. Let's give it another shot, shall we? Here we go, I'm just gonna use the auto button here and see how we do. Auto, by selecting auto, you will automatically, yeah, we're doing it, remind me tomorrow. Here we go, oh boy. Oh, that, that's not great, that's not great. So that was 13 is the number of attempts it took to get to the special prize. Okay. We'll try this again. Here we go. Crack it open. Is the value here? I don't know. Uh, okay, 13 again. Not amazing, but okay. Here we go. We do this thing again, shall we? Crack it open. Get those prizes. Uh, okay, that time was 12. 12 is better than 13, but still not amazing. And so far, I mean, the number is pretty high. 10, 11, 13, 13, 12. We'll do this a bunch more times. We'll get the average number of attempts that it takes us and then get you your, you know, the overall gem value here. Here we go. Your return on your gems is the way to think about this. You can see I, I've not gotten it one single time early on, which is kind of interesting. So uh, there we go. 12 again. All right. All right. Here we go. Value question mark. Here it is. Smash it open, baby. What do we get? Uh, still have not gotten an early pull of this thing. Oof. Wow. Okay, that was 14. Okay, 14 attempts is not amazing. And th we're now up to 98.5%. I'm going to do this one at a time and then hit auto just to get the special prize pool and see how that goes. So now we're at 99.5. Can I go over 100? What happens? No. It goes to 100. Now we, wait, we have to solve a puzzle? Wait, really? No, you're just picking up. You're just picking a square. A square, a gem, jeweled thing, whatever. This one. Don't suck. Ooh, didn't suck. Didn't suck. Actually, pretty good. Legendary equipment material choice chest. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. In fact, if we go to the info section, does it say that there's... Ah, so the special prize pool also has the same visual representation weirdness that the basic prize pool has, which is that it shows you six squares, but I don't think it matters which one you tap because the chances can't actually be different and they can't, like they, they're representing it as six spots. I, I, maybe I'm misunderstanding the relationship of these things, but if there's six spots and you tap one of them, the prize percent chance should be equal. Like the prize should already be in that square and I'm just revealing it, but that's not how it is. When I tap any of them, I think it's randomizing what I get, so it doesn't matter where you tap, I think. I mean, I'm just, help me, help me out. I'm just interpreting what I see here. Is that right? So let's go now and keep going on this puzzle box, shall we? We continue forward. Forward progress. Toward the well above 10 average here. That was another 12 to get the prize. Okay. So we're at 10, 11, 13, 13, 12, 12, 14, 12. Oh, okay. Here we go. So far, I've not been lucky once to get it below 10, which is actually kind of shocking that like every single time, like maybe I'm just getting really unlucky. I think that like has to be the case or I'm not understanding the probabilities here. Was that 10? That time I got it 10. I will mark it down. I'm, I mean, I must be getting very unlucky here. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm going to do a couple manually and see if it changes anything. It shouldn't change literally anything. Uh, and um, still, it's going to be about 10 attempts. Okay, well, that's 10, 11, 12, 12. Oof, man, I, I am getting actually really wrecked here. Like, I'm actually getting destroyed. Uh, okay. Wow. Well, we're going to keep going. I still have plenty of mechanisms left. I don't want to get caught hanging in a round where I don't get to the end prize. So let's keep going here. We're going to hit auto because it doesn't really matter. And how do we do? Pretty poorly. Really poorly. Extremely poorly. That was 14. On par for the worst I've done so far. Okay. Wow. 14 it is. We do it again. How do I do? Okay. That was finally a good round. That's finally a... That is a good round. So that is my first sub 10. It took eight boxes to actually 
complete that round, which is a great. Eight is a, a fine number. Let's keep going. <laughs> eight is the lowest I have gotten. You should you think that by now. There we go. Three. Finally, a good round. I'm getting. I've been getting raffle stomped here. Okay, great. Three is a a really good outcome. Finally, fixing the average a little bit here. We keep going and hope that we do well. Oof. Okay. Oh, special puzzle floor. Whew, I was like, what happened? I got wrecked. Doesn't matter where you tap, I think. What do I get? Five free tries. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Plus five free tries. Cool. Uh, we'll keep going on this one. Not. I mean, I'm, I'm still getting wrecked here, right? That's 12. 12 attempts. It's really, really, really bad. Okay. Well... I still have enough free tries and attempts, so we just keep going here. We'll auto our way through it. That's better. Okay. Here we go. So that was on the eighth attempt that we got the box. That's pretty good. Okay. We keep going. I have 66 attempts here. As long as I have 16 mechanisms, we keep going. Still, the earliest I got was three. This one's pretty decent. There were five boxes remaining. So that's 11. 11 is okay in the grand scheme of things. We'll keep going here. Again, maybe I'm just getting wrecked, but I, don't, I think that's probably not the case. Uh, I just think that the reward pool is, like, fine. The chances are fine. Uh, okay, so there's four prizes remaining here, so that was on turn 12. Turn 12 is not, is not great. <laughs> this is, uh, okay. <laughs> here we go. We keep going. Maybe I'm just getting wrecked. I don't know. Three is the earliest I've ever done, and I seem to consistently get much, much, much later than that. That was 11. So um, we'll, we'll pull down the average in just a minute here. We got one or two more rounds of this, then we get our average, okay? So here we go. We smash it again. And how do we do? How is it going? Come on. Okay, four remaining. That's 12. So the real problem here is that I'm, I'm like, on the doorstep of the special prize pool, but I'm, like, probably not going to get there, which kind of sucks. That that actually kind of sucks. Let's see how this goes. I need to get really lucky for this to work out. So here we go. Smash it again. And? Nope. Did not get lucky. I didn't get too unlucky, but I didn't get super lucky either. That's two, four, six. So it was on the 10th. Okay. I mean, okay. And I no longer have enough mechanisms that I feel like I can do this. But gosh darn it. Let's look at this real quick. You've got to be kidding me. So to get the special prize pool, I need 11 more pulls. And I have 10 more pulls. But if I crit, then I can get the special prize pool. So do I continue? I think the answer is probably yes. But I might get some free tries tomorrow. I don't know exactly how that works. Do the free tries reset? Oh, wait a minute. When the event ends, this is weird, your puzzle progress will be retained and kept for the next instance of the event. So maybe I don't get racked at the end of the event, right? Your unused tries that are free will be reset to zero. Your remaining puzzle pieces will be saved in your inventory for the next instance of this event. Maybe you do keep your progress here from event pop to event pop. Well, I say we just risk it. Given that it says that, I say we just risk it. I mean, that's a way more entertaining video, right? So here we go. We risk it and hope for the best. There's a nice crit. There's a nice crit. There's a nice crit. There we go. Special level in just a second. That's five attempts to get the prize here. Still haven't found it. F's in the chat. What do we get? Boom resources totally freaking raffle stomped my god i'm getting destroyed in this event do i continue with the five out of the 20 times that i did this only three times did i get this faster than 10 attempts only three times and one two three times i got it on 10 attempts so six out of 20 that i'm able to finish this out i mean it's a way more entertaining video if i go for it so get racked here we go and fail Fail. Those are both super fails because I really don't even want that particular prize. Okay, big fail. Two more attempts. There's no way I get this, right? Oh, ho, ho. boom. Gotcha. Woo. Okay, 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 okay. Recovered. Wow. 
on the 10th out of mechanisms get rec nerds here we go so what's the grand total here the average number of attempts i made it through 21 rounds exactly the average number of attempts was 11 attempts per round which has to be either bad luck or this event just takes more tries than you might think to actually get the prize pool if we talk about the gem value that i got from this event we're looking at 100,632 gems of value roughly for all the materials that I got, including the special prize pools over here. Um, that's 100,632 gems, and I spent 88,000 gems to lock that up. So that is not a great return on my gems for those of you keeping track. Generally speaking, you get a much higher return on your gems from Wheel of Fortune, from Egg Event. I don't know if this is actually better from a return on your gems standpoint than doing the old Esmeralda. Like, old Esmeralda at least had pretty solid tiered rewards compared to the tiered reward I got here, which was very infrequent and not all that exciting in the grand scheme of things. I think that if maybe we say I was really, really, really unlucky, that maybe you could do better and maybe this event is better, but I think this event is fine. I think it's a way for a spender to accelerate progress toward materials. But beyond that, like, I don't think your average player should gun for this compared to egg event where you probably need the patterns anyways and you get to pick the legendary pattern. I think this is a way to go and get materials. I think Wheel of Fortune is going to give you a ton of commanders and just in general, more return on your investment. But my sample size here is really small. I want to know for you, leave a comment down below, what is the average number of attempts it took you uh, if you went and you actually did this event? And again, it looks like your progress is actually retained from event pop to event pop. So theoretically, as long as you spend your free chances, you don't actually have to finish your round. We're going to read this line again. When the event ends, your puzzle progress will be retained and kept for the next instance of this event. I don't know if that puzzle progress is refer referring purely to this board or if it also refers to this special prize pool like will my 8.5 percent still be here i guess we'll find out the next time the event pops up so subscribe to the channel so you can see when that happens throw a like on the video if you had a good time here and if you want to see some other gem spending events i'll have a card up in the top for other times i've been completely wrecked in fact if you haven't ever seen some of the old gem events that absolutely crit my soul because they destroyed me Check out those cards up in the top. The dice event, man, was just, I got so destroyed. You'll see. You'll see.